but it's awesome. We'll just put it that way. So, let's see how we're going to do this here. We'll definitely give uh, five lives, just because it's going to get ugly. I'll be honest with you. I give you that warning for everything that I play, especially if it's been a while since I played it. See what we got here. It actually follows the uh, the premise of the movie pretty well, so that's good. Let's see that old army game. Open the bucket of soldiers and then locate the baby monitor and pass it down to the sergeant's troops. The toys will then meet you at the other baby monitor. Good luck and watch out for trains and planes. You know that I'm a man that likes to uh, narrate things. So this game's pretty. Pretty straightforward. I mean, you uh, try to find your way across the level and get get shit done, and it's uh, it's pretty simple. And if you can, you got to try to get all the uh, all the star, you know, all the stars hanging around. Damn it! Just what I'm shooting for here, but I'm not doing a very good job at it because I keep getting fucking hit by shit. And we go again. Alright. So, pretty much your main weapon here is just a whip. You know, crack the whip. And you just gotta, just gotta move. That's all, that's pretty much, if you can move, you're gonna be, you're gonna be just fine in this game. Oh, shit. And you're probably asking yourselves, what in the hell did you pick this game for, amongst other things? And you know what? I'm gonna tell you. Because I watched this movie. I've probably seen this movie the better part of about 30,000 times. And that is a fully accurate statistic. I literally have watched this movie that many times. You're probably asking yourself why. Why is a guy in his mid-twenties saying that he's watched this movie that many times. We, I'll tell you why. This was fucking awesome, that's why. Ooh, shit. And it's... God damn it. You know, I'm not gonna try to get all 50 little majigs here, because it's gonna... It's just gonna be too hard. But anyways, and I have to try to make decent videos out of this, so... Pretty much, this one's just like... Testing your ability as a human being to get through a simple task. And I already have proven that I can't do that very well. But I did it. Wow. And there's they put 50 stars in every level, so it's not a if you can find them all, then good for you. If not, well, you know, fuck you. Let's see. Red alert. Help the other toys get to their places before Andy gets to his bedroom. Rex, Ham, and Robot need to go into the toy chest. RC Car and Rocky need to go under the bed, and you need to get on top of the bed. Haha, <laughs> ee hee. And you have a time limit. So, let's hurry and get this shit done right now. Come on, Ham, get your fat ass out here. I don't have time for this shit right now. I don't really see what the big deal is. I mean, if I was a kid and I had toys that could talk and move around and had a mind of their own, I'd be like, dude, this is fucking tight. You'd be the envy of all of your friends. You'd be like, hey, Andy, what's, uh, what's going on? Oh, nothing really. I'm just playing with my fucking toys that talk and, you know, have individual personalities. Because it's pretty much awesome like that. I'd probably never leave my house. Why do anything productive with your life when you have toys that can talk and interact with you? Yeah, that's what I thought. You wouldn't do anything, just like me. We're not so different, you and I. Come on, Rex, you slow motherfucker. There we go. Yeah. I like how it sounds like bombs are going off when 
whenever Woody hits hits the floor. What the fuck is your problem? What's your major malfunction? Ah! I like how all these things are just strategically placed, like this is how Andy's room is really like or something. You can call me a critic, but you know, I'm just observing what I see here. He's gonna push that thing all the way over here. Damn it. Damn it. No. You son of a bitch. There we go. That's all I was trying to do. And you're gonna go. And you're gonna take really, really long. God damn it. Hurry up, you muscly, pixelated piece of shit. I got a strict time limit here. Yeah, 64, alright. Uh, Super, Super Nintendo. Uh. Ah, I got all 50, alright, yeah. If you get all 50, you get an extra life. And this is when, you know, Buzz is around for the first time. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, laser. How come you don't have a laser, Woody? I'm a fire, I'm a laser. Yeah, anyways. The ego check. Try and keep up with Buzz to show that you're just as good of a toy as he is. And that's really all it is. Luckily, Buzz is like the slowest person ever in the history of the world, yet he always seems to be in front of you. I'm pretty sure that I left him in the dust right there, but, you know, he's falling with style, as he likes to call it. And I don't remember any of this stuff being in his room, being suspended in midair like this. Like, since when did Andy have all of these desks? I don't remember that. God. Sometimes the music in this game just pisses me off. It's trying to be all happy and you're sitting here trying to show off because Buzz is an asshole. Like, what the fuck is that all about? Show off little whore? No, oh, look at me. I can fucking fly around. I can avoid everything that you're doing right now because I'm an asshole. And I don't remember there being this many sharks in this movie. Or a giant watch on the wall. Nope, yep, I'll go for that instead. Oh no! Smart move, Adam. You're one hit away from dying. There we go. Gosh, who needs to get the fuck out of the way? Come on, you can do this. See, this game isn't really that hard. Like, this is one of those games that actually looks like it's supposed to be made for kids in their, you know, 9 to 10 year old age. Not like fucking Super Mario, the hardest game of all time. With some of the hardest things ever integrated into an NES game ever. Alright, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. We're just gonna do it. Ah, run! Oh, hello. I didn't think it was going to go that far. Son of a bitch. But we do have checkpoints. That is one cool thing about this game, is they did make a checkpoint system. Like, regular good game should have. Whoa. We're just going to keep on running. Running like Tupac and Biggie. That's what we're, gonna, that's what we're doing. Oh, there we go. Didn't know Carl Lewis was here. Hey! Oh, yeah. I got all the fucking stars, bitches! And this was one of the creepiest nightmares ever in the history of the world. Hopefully I can get it done before the time's up. That'd be, like, the best timing ever. You don't want to be in the way when my laser goes off. Alright. Well, I won't be then. I like how he tells you exactly what he's going to do. Oh! Here it comes! Oh! Oh! Here it comes! 
I would not want to have this nightmare either. This is a pretty, pretty fucked up nightmare. Here it comes. Oh, come on. You son of a bitch. Here it comes. Yes. And it's really hard to get all the stars because they evaporate if you don't get them all quick enough. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't get them all. I've never ever gotten all those before. It's just fucking impossible. Ah, uh, password. All right, cool. And I will see you guys next time on the next episode of AMF Plays Toy Story. Yeehaw.